Well, here it is, day seven of my trip to Massachusetts. I am at Story Lake in New Mexico. It is a beautiful state park, a little more urban than some of the state parks I've stayed at. It's right outside Las Vegas, New Mexico. Right now I'm sitting in my car. The sun is going down soon, so it's very windy. Hopefully you can hear me. I think I'd better roll the windows up. I'm gonna try a little experiment. I did shoot some footage of the lake yesterday, and I'm gonna put that on a loop and then put me talking up in the corner so that instead of just me sitting in the car blabbing around, you can actually get an idea of what Story Lake looks like. It's been a quiet few days. Part of me wishes I had come down to the lake shore and done primitive camping, which I didn't realize that it was such easy access. Although I kind of like being up in the RV area, even though I'm in a car. Having your own water pump and electric right there is really, really convenient, plus the picnic table and the shade shelter. There's absolutely no shade down here, and it's gotten pretty warm, and it's been sunny, and it's been really windy the last few days, so I may not have fared well, although I could have put my tent up and stayed inside when the wind got really bad if I had kept down here. So while I've been here, I've read some books. I've been working on a crochet sweater. I think I mentioned that I've been crocheting. And then today I did some bird watching. And the other thing I've done is obsess over my route. With the bad weather and those devastating tornadoes in Oklahoma, Nebraska, other areas, you know, I'm not looking forward to Tornado Alley. I was going to go up to Clayton Lake and then cut through Kansas, Missouri. I'm rethinking that, although I haven't decided for sure. And I might just go up, plow my way through Colorado, up to Wyoming and across. I mean, there can be bad weather too, you know, no matter which way you go. So I have until tomorrow to decide. Tonight is my last night here, although I could extend and just come down here and dry camp for a couple of days. or. My, what I'm thinking is heading over to Cimarron Canyon, which is only about 80 miles away, a couple hours of drive on the back highways, and maybe stay there a night, and then head up through Colorado the next day. We'll see. Well, that was pretty fun. I was in the process of editing the video this morning when I saw the goose and the gander and the goslings. I also saw them last night and did some short footage, which is on my Facebook page, and I decided to go ahead and film them so I stopped editing, filmed them for a little bit, and then cut the footage in. Super cool. I just love wildlife. I love birds and baby birds. They are just so cute. Anyway, I hope you enjoy. Thanks for following along on this road trip to Massachusetts. And if you enjoyed the video, please go ahead and give me a thumbs up, like, subscribe, share, comment, all that good stuff. If not, that's okay. I'll see you in my next video.